Let us look at sharpening. Sharpening is one of those things that you see popping up in uh, Photoshop procedures. It makes your images look sharper. So let's dive into it and see what sharpening does to an image. Uh, I have a test image here with a bunch of tones of gray on a bar, a fuzzy purple oval, a gray rectangle that's sort of fuzzy. Now the what sharpening does is it takes a look at different colors, tones, values in Photoshop. And it says these two color areas are different. I can do something to bolster the edges on these to make it appear that they have a sharper edge than they really do. So we're going to go to the filter. We're going to go down here to sharpen. We're not going to use the sharpen, sharpen edges, all of those automatics. We'll go right here to unsharp mask an old printer's tool that gives you control over how these things work. So we'll take a look at this preview here. The preview button, take note that you have a little grabber hand and when you pull stuff around on the grabber hand, the sharpening effect comes and goes. So when you have your, butt, your mouse down, you see the before state and when you let the mouse up, you see the after state. Okay, so we have amount, radius, and threshold. Let's look at what these do. Amount means how extreme is the effect. I'm going to crank it all the way up to 500, which is pretty brutal. Uh, that will give us a chance to see what's going on. Um, radius is how wide is the effect. You can see a little bit right now on these squares here that um, it takes a certain radius of pixels around a shape and builds a little extra buffer area. So it went around the the green here and it made an extra light part of green here. It went around the gray and it made an extra dark part of the gray. So that little rim of extra dark gray, extra light green gives you what appears to be a sharper edge. And um, I can take this up farther and farther and the radius just gets bigger. That's the number of pixels of effect that you're generating. This image here is around 700 pixels wide, so three or four pixels is a pretty substantial uh, rim of sharpening, probably more than we would be able to stand. Um, the threshold is how picky is this? If I zoom back a little bit here, we'll see more, more areas. Okay, it says how many levels of color away or between a difference between the two areas am I going to worry about? Like if you say the threshold is really big, it does almost no sharpening. In fact, when you take it up to 255, you don't see hardly anything. When you go down about halfway, more areas start to pick up. You'll see the preview here in the big image, and you'll see little bits of sharpening coming into play come down farther, and you see it takes in more and more smaller differences until you get down to the, the low numbers, and you see that almost everything sharpens, even the, you know, the slighter differences. So that is, um, that's what sharpening does, and once you understand what you're, what you're dealing with, um, it gives you a lot more control, a lot you can make better decisions on this. Um, so you can see what's going on and what do you have to do to get the sharpening amount you need. And then of course 500 is pretty extreme. Usually you're down at a much lower level and you apply just a little bit in it will sharpen up details and photographs and type and, and line art scans and things like that. Um, take a look at your local newspaper sometime and look at the details in, in the photography and you'll start seeing these little rims of color around uh, numbers on football jerseys and things like that and you go, aha, they're sharpening. And um, because of the newsprint softness, you'll see pretty aggressive examples of it on in your local newspaper. So that is a look at sharpening.